So in the previous lecture, we built our kernel module and tested on the target. We used this long command in order to build our module. Instead of uh, running this long command, what we can do is we can include this in a local make file and we can automate the build instead of typing all these things. That would be better. That's why we are going to edit our make file now to include this command. First, what you do is you copy this command. Don't copy sudo, just copy this command. Just run the clean command. Your working directory should have only main.c and make file. After that, let's edit the make file now. I would use gedit make file. It has got only one entry now. Let's add a couple of more entries here. Let's create a target. I would give a target name as all. All colon. This is a target. After that, hit enter. When you press enter, the cursor comes over here, isn't it? Give a tab. Press tab one time. Here you have to write the receipt. The receipt is nothing but our command. Paste the command what you copied that. This looks very long. Let's shorten this. Let's create a couple of variables. I would create some variables arch is equal to arm, cross compile is equal to, I would store this value into the cross compile variable. And let me create one more variable kern directory is equal to I would copy this as a value for kern directory let's copy this after that let's fix this now arch is equal to instead of arm what you can do is you can use this variable name so dollar sign arch this gives me the value of this variable this will be replaced by arm here instead of this you can use this let me remove this dollar sign of this variable and instead of this linux kernel source path i can remove this and instead of that dollar sign kern directory that's it m is equal to you have to give the pwd in parenthesis m is equal to dollar sign pwd which gives me the path of the current working directory and this is a target or command modules after that let's create one more target for cleaning clean colon enter tab so you can copy the same command and paste here and instead of modules give clean you can also create one more command help. You can copy this, paste here, and give help. These are the different targets. That's it. For the time being, let's use only this much and let's test this. Let me save this. There seems to be some problem here. Now let's save this and exit. Let's just run make. Here it is. You got the result. Main.ko is formed. If you want to clean it, make clean. So all files got deleted. And you can run make help in order to get the help menu of kernel build system let's again edit our uh, make file to add one more uh, target to build against our host instead of target these are all building against our target all these commands are using cross compiler how about adding one more command to build against our host machine you can add here one more target host you can use the same command but you have to edit this 
So you can use this command and remove this arch is equal to arm cross compilation everything. Current directory here let's use the word host current directory and let me do modules something like that. That's fine. And now let's define this variable is equal to lib modules. You have to use the name. So here you have to mention the kernel version of your running a Linux kernel of your host. You can uh, manually type it or you can use uh, uname minus r. Just do dollar sign of shell uname minus r and slash build. You can also do something like this. Or you can run uname minus r on your command prompt, get the version string and paste here. Let's save this and let's exit. Let's make clean first. Let's make host. You can see that now the kernel module has built for the host. You can insert that. It works. And if you want to build for target, then you just have to run the command make. This actually built the kernel module for the target. If I run a file main.ko, it shows that it is for ARM. Whereas if I run make host, it shows different. For example, let's again run file main.ko. You can see that it is for x86. That's about creating a small make file to automate our kernel building procedures. In the next lecture, let's explore about in-tree building.